all this is dr hiran gleeb welcome to the online lecture on molecular docking using autodock veena my molecular docking lectures has been divided into three different videos this is part 1 of the video in this video we are going to learn how can we fetch a protein target and how can we build a ligand in chimera using mile strings and how to convert it into pdb files This lecture is specially designed for the beginners so let's start before performing the auto dock vena we should know the steps for molecular docking so the steps of molecular docking are target selection ligand selection so first of all you need to select your target protein or nucleic acid whatever uh, is required and the ligand your ligand can also be a chemical compound um, in an inhibitor or a, a protein then you have to prepare the target and the ligand so the next step is target preparation and the ligand preparation once the target and the ligand is prepared these files can undergo docking so after docking you can evaluate the docking results here you can also see that you need a receptor which is a protein a ligand uh, which can be any molecule and then you have to prepare them you have to prepare their pdb qt files and after their pdb qt files uh, are prepared they will undergo molecular docking using auto dock vena and after that you can with the docking results you can analyze uh, various interaction between the amino acid residues and the the docked molecule and you can also uh, have a look at the energies of the molecules So the computational tools required for molecular docking using autodock vena are number one is you required autodock vena. This is the uh, link shown here, and you can click on this link to download autodock vena from Scripps Research Institute. You will require the MGL tools. MGL tools are also called autodock tools, so you can download the MGL tools from Scripps Research Institute. you also require chimera for structural um, visualization and also for energy minimization and it also has some other functions you will also require pymol or this discovery studio or uh, any other visual visualization software where you can uh, visualize the results so let's start first of all what we are going to do now we'll choose a protein target and a ligand we'll prepare the protein and the ligand and then we'll select the docking site i'll show you how we will select it then we'll carry out the protein ligand docking using docking tools and then finally different ligand poses are generated uh, in the docked pose so let's see in our uh, in today's uh, tutorial we are going in today's tutorial we are going to use the example of mthfs which is 510 methylene tetrahydrofolate synthetase this is an enzyme that regulates the flow of carbon through one carbon metabolic network which supplies essential components for the growth and proliferation of cancer cells inhibition of mthfs in human mcf7 breast cancer cells has been shown to arrest the growth of cancer cells therefore we'll use the example of mthfs as a uh as a target molecule in in the present study so let's start so first of all we are going to take the uh, pdb of our target protein so our target protein uh, pdb is 3h by 3 3h by 3 pdb so this is the structure of human mthfs you can uh, watch my previous videos for downloading pdb files so from this site you can download the pdb so this is the 3hy3 you can download the pdb file from this and you can just click on pdb format when you click on this you will uh, this file will be downloaded into the downloads i have already downloaded the pdb file of uh, this here in my docking folder so here is the pdb file of 3hy3 you can copy it from the download when it's downloaded you can paste it in your working directory so this is uh, the pdb 
file this is how a pdp file looks like so it has you can have information that the whole protein amino acid sequence this is chain a so it has only one chain in the protein and it also has some water molecules as you can see that it has some uh, as you can see that it also have some water molecules in it as head atoms and 10 for mile tetrahydrofolate is also present in it so let's have a look at the pdb file in chimera so let's uh, open chimera So here it is 3HYB, uh, 3HY3 PDB. I have already opened it, but you can also select it using File Open. So I'm just selecting this 3HY3 PDB. So this is the PDB of uh, MTHFS enzyme, and it has 10 for mile tetrahydrofolate already bind in the active pocket. So uh, we can go to, uh, we have to remove this in order to bind our own ligand in, in the, within the active pocket. So you need to go to select residue all non-standard 10F is 10, 10 tetrahydrofolate. So I'm just going to actions, atoms and bonds and then delete. Now we also have to delete water molecules but you can also do it in MGL tools. We can also do it in our AutoDoc. So I'm just closing it as such, uh, saving it as file, save, save as PDB, save PDB, and you have to give the name as 3H Y3, or you can just I'm just giving it another name, or you can just save it in the same name but i just want to keep the original file as well so this is pdb 3hy3 underscore one so to prepare our ligand file but the pdb file is still not prepared yet as we have to make it a pdb qt file that will make in the autodoc tools let's select our ligand so you can import your ligand in chimera in many ways but uh, I have the CDX file, Smiles file, the PDB already. I have made the PDB file. I'm deleting it because I'm going to make it again. So I have the Smile files. So let's uh, let me show you how you can make a structure using Smile, or you can directly import the STF file from the uh, PubCam or Zinc database. You can just uh, download the STF file and that is your ligand. If you are using some novel structure, then you have to make the structures in uh, camera or you might have the smiles. It's smiles. So currently I'm using the smiles format to show you how you can uh, use the. So I'm copying the smile string. And then I'll open the chimera. If you go to tools and then structure editing and here you can go to build structure so that you have a number of options you can build a fragment you can build a structure you can just write an atom uh, I'm just using the smile string so even you can uh, you can get the smile string of uh, your inhibitor from the uh, pop cam as well so I uh, I have a separate video for different file format conversions. You can watch that and you will have the idea how to convert one format to another. So I'm just using the smile string format apply. So we have the structure. So this is the structure of our inhibitor that is going to bind to THFS. So uh, now our structure is here uh, we have built a structure uh, in the chimera you can go to tools structure editing and then you can uh, minimize the structure minimize 
Okay. Okay. It will take some time. So the structure has been minimized. So now the structure has been minimized. After minimization of the structure, we can save the file, save PDB and you can give the name, uh, the name is PHZ and after that you can just click on save. So the PDB of the structure has been made in our docking folder. So we have the uh, PDB file and we also have the uh, 3H by 3 uh, underscore 1. This is the modified PDB. Now I'm going to open the structure in the order doc tools. So let's uh, have a look at the where is our auto doc tools. So I'm clicking on the auto doc tools. It will take time. So we have the auto dog tools. Hope you can see that uh, completely.